Shalom Israel, Shalom. Brakatiyawa, Brakatiyawa Shai, Brakatiyawa, Brakatiyawa Shai, Brakatiyawa, Brakatiyawa Shai. By Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the Apostle and the Elders, a great Muslim who teach one ruler, who taught me his truth in its entirety. Peace and salutation to the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, the Akium. Pushing his truth at risk of the own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Aquith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. To Brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi al the title will come. But we'll get right into it. It's an article that came out on uh, Yahoo New, Yahoo Finance, right? It came out uh, today. Yeah, January 26, 2021. The year of hastening and the coming of our Lord. And uh, the title... President Biden outlines his agenda for racial equity, right? And this is this is for two thirds of our people out there thinking, uh, you know, looking to sit at master's table, right? We'll get right into it, and then uh, I don't want to watch attach some scripture. All right, let's head to the Hill right now for the latest updates out of Washington, D.C., where President Biden has plans on speaking later today about racial equity. We have Yahoo Finance's Jessica Smith here with all of the details. Hey, Jess. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, in just about an hour, we are set to hear from President Biden as he outlines his plan for racial equity and several executive actions that he is taking today. Right now, the White House press secretary is talking to reporters about these actions, and the White House says that Biden is going to direct the Department of Justice not to renew any contracts with private prisons. He's also going to direct HUD to examine past regulatory actions that have had discriminatory impact and mandate that HUD promotes fair housing policies. Now, Biden has vowed that racial equity is going to be at the center of his agenda. And I did speak with Congresswoman Joyce Beatty ahead of these announcements. So he's vowed that racial equity is going to be at the head of his agenda, right? But uh, listen, no matter what these devils, no matter what they say, scriptures tell us they're, 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 they're our enemy. And they're confederate against the, right, against the the, the 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 sons of Israel, right, the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place, the so-called indigenous, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Negro, right. They're confederate. They're confederate against you, us. Psalms eighty-three verse two: For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They hate. They hate the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. So all this grandstanding and PR, photo ops, television ops, it's smoke and mirrors, it's lies. Verse 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against whose people? The Mosai Yahweh Shemel Shai. They've taken crafty counsel. Who? Thine enemies. And we're going to find out who they are. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Right? They've consulted against the Israelites. They've consulted against the elect. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Cut them off. Cut who off? The Israelites. Right? From being a nation. Discontinue their heritage. Wipe out who they are. Stray, stray them away from their, 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 their power. Jeremiah 17 verse 4. And it reads, And thou even thyself, right? this, is, this is the Most High, Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai, telling the prophet Jeremiah, right? Speaking to the prophet Jeremiah. This is during the, 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 the captivity of Judah, the southern kingdom, under the Babylonian captivity, right? And thou even thyself, thyself, the Israelites, it's talking to Jeremiah, but the Israelites, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, thine heritage. What is the heritage of the Israelites? These law, statutes, and commandments, right? Right? Two-thirds of our people don't know who they are. Don't know the law, statutes, commandments. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Serve thine enemies where? Here, America the Great, Babylon the Great. Cargo, cargo, slave ship, slavery. The diaspora. That's where the Israelites serve. That's, uh, are, 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 to this day, still serving their enemies. Through the diaspora, the northern kingdom got shipped out. The southern kingdom got shipped out. We're still in our captivity. In the land which thou knowest not, right? 
the, the, the Western Hemisphere. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. Right, we pissed off the Mosai Yelba Shemioshai. Pissed him off. Which shall burn forever. Yeah, pissed off. Don't want, don't want nothing to do with the, uh, his, his peculiar treasure. His chosen. That's why Israel, that's why the Israelites are in the state they're in today, man. You see me? Right? So sitting there, this guy grandstanding. Sleepy Joe, these devils. Grandstanding. We're gonna do this for your people. We're gonna do this for the for, for the uh, uh, minorities. It's crafty council, man. Right? Verse 4, Psalms 83, verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Cut them off, cut off the Israelites. That the name of Israel may be no more rem in, in remembrance. Right. Two thirds of our people don't know who they are. Right. These heathen nations, the elites know who the Israelites are. But you know, the heathen nations look at look at look at is uh, uh, the Israelites as a byword and a, and, a, and a reproach. Verse five: For they have consulted together with one consent. Who's consulted together with one consent? These other nations, our enemies. They are confederate against thee. Right. They're 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 grouped up against. V, the, the Israelites, right? And here's the enemies. Verse six, the tabernacles of Edom, the houses of Edom, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And the Ishmaelites, right? The Arab of Moab, right? The, 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 the Chinese. And the Hagarines, those are Hamites. Gabal and Ammon, Ammon is uh, the Japanese. And Amalek, that's those Zionist Ishes over there in the land of Gotta watch our words, right? But we know we know where they're at, right? The Philistines, those are Hamites, with the inhabitants of Tyr, right? So these are the enemies of the Israelites, Israel being a people before a place. And they're confederate against thee. Crafty Council. Today, she is the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. She says it is huge to have a leadership at the top who is focused on racial equity. She says that this is going to help lawmakers advance legislation on this issue. Let's watch. We have certainly a plethora of economic and educational bills that are all centered around the injustices that we have faced. And also when you look at the conscious and unconscious biases that are out there. So it begins an open dialogue. It gives us not only hope, but progress, because this is- Yeah, she's speaking on behalf of the so-called black people. It gives us hope and progress. She looked like Jake. Jeremiah 30, right? Crying for, crying for our affliction, right? But she don't know these scriptures. She don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. She don't know this is part of the curses, man. She don't know that it's crafty counsel and they're confederate against the Israelites. She don't know that they're going to stand up and talk and say, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But they don't care. It's all about uh, wiping out the, 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 the Israelites. Jeremiah 30 verse 15, it reads, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Right? It's a question to Jeremiah the prophet. Why are you crying about your affliction? Right? Why are you crying about the state of the Israelites? Right, thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Right, your sorrow can't your all these tears you're shedding, crying for your affliction, your sorrow can't be cured because the the multitude of thine iniquity, the sins you going off. Right, because thy sins were increased. Right, always going off. Jacob always going off. Right, the multitude of the of thine iniquities always going off because thy sins were increased. I've done these things unto thee. Right, so because you, because Jacob kept going off, our forefathers, going off, going after the way of the heathen, worshiping idols, right? I have done these things unto thee. Who? The Most High, Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kadash. Right. So sitting there and hoping, vain hope. Isn't that in Lamentations three? Vain help. I think it's verse seventeen. Thinking ah. Uh, Thinking, uh, thinking that uh, this guy, uh, the, these devils are gonna are gonna save you. Vain help.
Lamentations 4 verse 17. I was in 3. something that we've been fighting for and now to be able to have it as a reality because the president is putting racial justice and equity in every cabinet in every uh, agency now part of yeah vain hope believing in your pressure lamentations 4 verse 17 and it reads as for us Who's the us? The Israelites. Our eyes as yet failed for our vain hope, right? Hoping in vain. Hoping that we're going to be helped. Our, our oppressor is going to make it better for us. Vain hope. Hope that's never going to come. Vain. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. These other nations can't save us. Yahweh Shai alone can save us, man. So watching for another nation to save us. These nations can't save us. These, uh, these announcements, these press conferences... That we're going to do this for the for, for racial in, uh, inequality. It, 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 Yahweh Shai alone is going to save us. Save who? The Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. But yeah, I just want to touch on that. I pray you edify it. I don't want to write this out. Kwame Asherala. Wa. Abad. Babal.